Male cosmetic surgery and cosmetic medicine procedures are definitely on the rise. There's a number of factors for this. One of them is that people say, I wear my resume on my face, and it's driven by that uh, pursuit. Other men just want to look better. They, you know, they're working out at the gym, they're taking an interest in their diet and so forth, and they still have some resistant bulges or some things they want to improve on that women have always been concerned about. So our numbers have doubled in terms of surgery. Over one year, we've gone from 10% to 20% of male cosmetic surgery, and all of them have had cool sculpting first. So I kid them, I call it the gateway drug. Uh, they're coming in for cool sculpting, and then next thing you know, I'm doing their blepharoplasty or their neck lift, and I'm doing that a lot on guys 50 to 70 years old, where they say, you know, I'm a baby boomer, I'm starting to look like my dad, what can you do to get rid of this turkey gobbler or this waddler? What's with my eyelids hanging down? So these are guys who would otherwise never have come in the practice. Well, we published a study recently in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal in which we looked retrospectively at three years of patients and we found that the average age of the male patient coming in for cool sculpting was 45.6 years of age. We then broke it down and looked for non-surgicals and surgicals and we've got uh, some interesting findings. We have people coming in in their 30s and 40s for cool sculpting and then they're going on to have facials, fillers, and neuromodulators such as Botox, Desport, or Xeomin. We're also having an older group, the 50 to 70 year old guys, they're coming in and they're having the face lifts, the eyelid lifts, and some of the non-surgical body contouring and facial rejuvenation procedures. So it's really across all ages from about 30 to 70.